2020 have been tough even if it's not yet done. Before 2019 ends, 2019 novel coronavirus, also known as COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2, started to spread globally. We never expected that Philippines would also be affected of this virus. Based on my research, the first case of COVID-19 here in the Philippines was reported last January 30, 2020, and she is a 38 years old Chinese national. On March 7, 2020, there's already confirmed local transmission in the country. March 8, 2020, President Duterte placed the entire Philippines under state of public health emergency because of COVID-19. In just a week, the cases increased and cannot be controlled by the government anymore. The first lockdown happened last March 17 and lasted for a month. In the month of April, travel ban was finally implemented. Citizen already suggested to implement travel ban on the first month, but the government did not do it. So after the first lockdown, people have been decided to go back to work, especially to those people who really need to work. According to news and my observation, Philippine government is not really aware and ready for this kind of situation. And as a student, I am totally against a part government. During this pandemic, I saw how citizens struggle while some public officials and politicians still have the audacity to do something against the law. But what the government do, they let those public officials get away from the consequences. While health workers were exhausted and yet they are not getting paid real well. While a few health officials corrupted 15 billion of the funds and no one was jailed. I can say that government do not have concrete plans. Instead of improving the healthcare system and giving back the health workers or frontliners, they still pursue the white sand for Manila Bay. Do you really think that project is necessary or helpful in this kind of situation? Some people are already starving and lots of people getting killed by the virus due to field assistance. Yet, the government are not prioritizing the pandemic. Students and teachers are suffering because no one is ready for this school year. But the government said everyone is ready. Philippines death for this pandemic reaches 9 trillion pesos and I don't think all of those money are properly or even used for this pandemic. There are still good things that were made by the government like implementation of Bayanihan to heal as one act which regulates law to help citizens during this pandemic. I have a friend that her family was infected by the virus and according to her, they are not well treated. Their community do not have quarantine facilities but thank God they are already recovered and tested negative. As of now, we just really hope that COVID-19 will be gone and we can go back to our normal lives.